All right, I haven't done a fibble in a while, and I thought today's fibble looked like it might be amusing. So um, if you're not familiar with fibble, it's like normal Wordle, except one of the clues in each row is a lie. And we can flag which one we think is a lie by clicking on it, or we can move the flag back over, and we can also right click to to mark it however we want. You could mark this as, I think this one's true, or I know this one's true, something like that. There's lots of ways to do it, so. Let's see, amuse, amuse. I'm gonna go with abuse. I like to reuse letters and hope for a contradiction. Um, something like right here, this is exactly what I want. So, what we know, we know these are all true. And the reason we know those are true is because one of these two S's has to be a lie and one of these two E's has to be a lie. Okay, so we know there's no M, B, or U. There is an A, it's in a different position. So, I'm thinking something like C, A, we can't do search. Do something like saner, that's not too bad. Okay, so, what do we know here, what do we know? Well, not much, because here's the thing, let's say the yellow E is true, right? And the gray S is true, ah, Okay, here's what we do know. Yes, no, we do know something because one of the gray S and E has to be true, right? One of them is true because only one of them can be a lie. So one of the S or the E is actually gray. So one of the S or the E in this row has to be the lie, which means these are all true. Okay, so we've got an N in the third position. The A is now in the fourth or the fifth position. There's an S or an E, but we don't know which one. And, okay, so since we know the S or the E here is a lie, whichever one is true, we know that the yellow is true, obviously, but we also know that it's not. So if it's the E, then these are both true yellows. If it's the S, these are both true yellows. They couldn't be a green. Right, because, yeah, yep, that is true. Okay, so maybe something E-N-A, something like that, or something N-A-S would work too. E-N-A, what would that be? Or it could be an A at the end as well. Something like Jenga. <laughs> uh, henna, henna would work. Hmm, I don't know if I wanna repeat an N or not though. That's not terrible, let's go with that. Okay, so we know the N is correct. If, if the E is the lie, that could be a green, could be a green E. That would mean the A is true, which would mean there would have to be it would have to be like this, and we would have to have it. It would have to be an S at the end if that E is the lie. Oh, no, not necessarily. Because this E could be the lie because it's supposed to be yellow or it's supposed to be green. Right, no, but if this is a lie, then this one is a lie. Which means there's no S. Okay, so we wouldn't have an S then. So it would have to be like this. If the E is the lie. What about... Penal? Seems possible. Oh, it was the answer. Alright, there we go, cool. So, interesting. So, I guess the S, the E, and the S... And the E were the lies. Which is interesting because it was basically the same, you know, yellow S, gray E, yellow S, gray E. Huh. All right, so there you go. That was a, a little bit of a tricky one. Um, I, I had it kind of narrowed down with the S and the E, but I wasn't quite sure which way it was going to go. So anyways, there you go. Let me know how you do with today's Fibble. Be sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you again soon with some more puzzles. <laughs> so, so doing eight words blindfolded isn't hard enough. Oh, it's executes. The S can jump onto the executes, and then it's gonna be decided, maybe. But we need to have, no, because we need to, okay, after the S, what's gonna come after the S? It's gotta be, oh, we could do spec.